is the testimony God has given us eternal life. And this is the testimony God has given us eternal life. And this life is in His Son. And this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has the life. Whoever has the Son has the life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have the life. Friends, today we reflect in the first reading taken from the first letter of St. John, chapter 5, verses 5 to 13, and the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, verses 23 to 38. Throughout history, there have been men who have or who wanted to conquer the world. Be it Alexander the Great, Napoleon Bonaparte, Adolf Hitler, to name only few. They were consumed with a lust for power and they thought their goal could be achieved by bloodshed. Very particularly Adolf Hitler. Ironically, St. John in today's reading tells us that who is the real conqueror of the world? And the real conqueror of the world is the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Of course, he is speaking of a different kind of conquest, one which overcomes sin, which overcomes evil, and which overcomes everlasting death. We can conquer through faith in Jesus Christ because he has won the great victory for us. The victory has come about through bloodshed, not the blood of innocent millions, but the blood of the one truly innocent person, Jesus Christ. We are called to do what Jesus did for us, to love, to forgive. This is the testimony God has given us eternal life. And this is the testimony God has given us eternal life. And this life is in His Son. And this life is in His Son.